All right, welcome to another farm sim video. So this is the uh, this is the farm sim logging roleplay map. So this you know this is my house, my little cabin, right on a little pond back there, literally right up on the water. So uh, landscaping's really messed up because of just the area. Uh, but this is this is my house. Give you guys a little house tour before we go into what this server is actually going to be. Yeah, literally, there's the pond. Like, the water's right here. So, pretty nice being right up on the water. Very beautiful location. Um, this is my green machine work truck. Good old Ford F3 shitty. Gotta love that. I got a trailer full of logs. Just cut down this big ass tree right here. Because it was in the way. So cut down that tree and load the logs up. So, um, this is going to be more of a roleplay based uh, map. So, it's not going to be like the other one where it's more of a competition. It's actually more RP based, which I'm really loving. So I am the the man running the show. Um, so I'm running. The uh, logging company, Big Log LLC, uh, recorded a video of, you know, some of the setup and work on that. It's been a couple days since I've done that, and we've already gotten a lot of work done. Um, just having the logging crew on for a few days. I've got one other foreman, uh, my warehouse, uh, warehouse and mill foreman, uh, Recon. He runs the show down there, runs, you know, deals with all of the forklifts and moving all of our stuff. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to head into our main office. Um, I'm going to throw these in our chipper, I think, when I get down, eventually get out to the logging site. We'll chip the rest of all of this. Can't really be, can't mill any of this, so it's, it's just going to chip at all of it anyways. Actually, I could, that's actually what I might do. I might go drop it off at the tailor, because the tailor will take, or not the tailor, the wood turner production plant we own. There's Recon's house right there. He's right up on the river. So everyone has their own different farm. Um, now, server slots are open. We do have, uh, like the farm server, it's closed. We can't accept any new people, but this one does have slots open. So, you know, if you're playing Farm Sim on PC, Xbox One, or Xbox, or PlayStation, uh, Farm Sim 22, you know, you can join in if you'd like. I'll have to put the Discord in one of the comments somewhere. I believe this is the wood turner. Is this this is, is this the right spot? This is the furniture place. Oh, here's the wood turner. Damn, Recon, you're supposed to be on top of your shit. Why is there pellets sitting here? Hmm, good sir, why are there pellets? I should probably. I didn't even think of that. Hold on, let me lift the. Alright, uh. There we go. Now I have to go into Production Manager. Uh, we can start just producing, like, pepper grinder. Yeah. We'll start producing pepper grinders, why not? I gotta pull it a little bit more forward to get those last few logs. Alright. Let me lift... Oh, no, shoot. Sorry, wrong control. I can't see what I have selected for my controls because I'm on I have the twitch overlay that's not it this should be it there we go let's try not to kill anyone backing out of this place so these pallets right here are uh, stairway rails which will be used in further construction and building 
that place is really loud. Um, so you can see that roller coaster in the background. We are working on that roller coaster right there. We are working on building that. I've never done it before on Elm, or on uh, Silver Enforced. I've never actually gotten into that. Whenever we've done logging on this map, we've just we haven't even milled. We don't even mill the logs normally when we do. The last few times we've just uh, sold them straight out. Don't keep them. Uh, but this we're doing it differently, and we're turning up a very large profit already. We only have $110,000. Uh, that will change. We are going to have way less money soon because I'm going to actually build us a company headquarters. So currently we're leasing our company headquarters, which we are approaching right now. It's in the Southern Sawmill, which is this little building up here. I don't think any equipment is in here right now, so you're not really going to be able to see anything. Uh, I see there's one of our trailers right there. I'm just going to park out front right here. Because I, I don't want to drive the truck in there. I have my own parking spot inside, but... I just don't want to pull it in there with the trailer. Pulling trailers in there is kind of annoying. So this is the offices. And then back here, yeah. There is... Oh, there is, there is a dump truck in here. So the dump truck's in here. Um, so this is used to transport all of our wood chips, as well as our, uh, up at the mine. And then this is Recon's, uh, Anthem. My, I, I do have a semi-truck that I own, it's up on the mountain now. Dump trailer, trailer storage is right over here. We also have a trailer storage out there, you can kind of see some of the trailers right there. Um, yep, pallet storage right here, so we got iron sitting right here. Good old iron, I don't know what it was, this is rolled up sheets of iron, I guess. A whole lot of wood. So all of our wood is milled at the northern mill, at our, we own it, and is uh, then transported by recon down here for storage. Alright, so we'll take the dump truck. Uh, I don't really think we even need the dump truck up on the mountain today. We're not trimming anything today. So we'll, we'll take the pickup. Head back through this door. Yeah, so we'll take my pickup truck up the mountain because I don't. The dump truck does take a lot longer to get up there. And we don't. I don't need it. I already trimmed all of the logs that we're loading today. So yeah, so it's a pretty big warehouse. Right up on the rail line. So if we need to transfer anything by rail, we can. Uh, these are some of our other trailers over here. So this is. The pallet low loader, it's the one we use to transport all of our pallets. That crane, we're going to have that crane set up shortly. That was in the last video. That crane is going to be moved up to the R-mill and be used to unload trailers. And then that's the equipment low loader we use to transport the loaders and anything else that's very large. And there's just a little bumper pull trailer that we use to move like the skid steers around and stuff. This is my personal trailer. So... How this works is pull over, go in here. So everyone has their own little farm, except for me. I'm just on the company farm. Um, and you are paid for your days of work. Now, the payments and all the details on that are in the Discord, how long the days of work actually are, because you do get paid for overtime, but... You know, if you're just doing overtime, you know, you're not going to get paid. You have to be actually working overtime. As in, like, you can stay and work, but I'm not going to pay you unless I need you to actually stay and work. Like, Recon went up to the, went up the mill earlier, uh, I think it was like two days ago in roleplay, and waited like an hour for a pallet to be done. And I was like, you don't need to do that. I was like, please don't actually, don't do that. Like, I'm not, I can't pay you overtime, you know. We're gonna go, I, I, I go through around, like, if I have the whole crew online, I go through about 5k in payroll a day, so. And different positions have different payments. Drivers get paid more, uh, foremans get paid a lot more. Uh, I think they get paid like 150 an hour. Base pay is $100 an hour. Um, but I, I'm still working on it. I'm probably going to up foreman's up eventually to 500 an hour. Alright, so this is the... 
spot. This is a very log at night. Now it looks a lot more bare since the last time it was on video. It's because we've cut a lot of trees down. We haven't actually logged like a lot. We haven't moved a lot up, but a lot has been cut down. It's just kind of laying down there in the mountain, or it's up here. There's a lot of logs up here, and you'll see that here in one second. So this is my truck. Uh, big, big bag of red. It's our logging truck. It's what we use to move all the big log trailers. Chipper set up on the generator. That generator is really close to being running out of gas, so I've got to go take it down. Good old tower yarder. And then you can see all of our logs are laying over here. And, of course, the Volvo loader. So, this is the yarder lane. And to get a better idea of just how many trees are down and, like, how big it is, uh, you can see all those trees. We're in the drone view. So, there's a lot of trees that need to be pulled up. And these ones down here, uh, they don't really like being pulled up, uh, up the mountain like that. So, I actually have another tree down here set to switch yarder lanes. I want to get these couple of trees up here next, um, just so I can get them. And these ones down here as well, just to get them out of the way before I switch roads on the yarder. So, it's going to no longer run this way. It's going to run, like, this way. So that way I can get to the base of these trees and pull them up more easy. Uh, the problem is, is all of the runaway trees, is what we call them when they start rolling down the mountain, end up down here. So we got a lot of trees that just kind of landed down there, right on that road. Which is very dangerous, which is why I have roads, all the roads are shut off. You know, warning signs. And I've got active logging site. Uh, I think even this bridge is shut down. Yeah, but I need to move these because people have been... Some of our workers, when we weren't yarding logs, thought that they could run the roadblock here. So I'm going to actually close it so it's impossible to pass. Yeah, active logging site. And then there's another one over here. Right here, blocking this road off. But this one's a little close for comfort, even. Like, those trees are right there. And then those ones are going to get cut down soon, too. So, we have a lot of trees down. And we've had, you know, three or four truckloads come off the mountain already. So, quite a bit of trees have already come off the mountain. Um, but still, it's, it's that's nothing, in, you know, compared to just how much is still here. How much is still up up here and we still have all of this land so we what we've already logged is just this this little section right here we've got still got all of uh, this over on this side the other side of this and then down here by the road so it's not going to take us long to get through this land claim um, up by the river that's going to be where it's probably going to be the most difficult to log uh, and this one hasn't been easier either. It, it has not been easy logging here. Um, just because of how it's very steep. It is very steep compared... I mean, this, this is steep. This is this is pretty <laughs> pretty bad. Um, compared to where we were logging last time on Silver Run, it is, it's pretty bad. Um, so, you can't even, even get little, like, chips and stuff falling down the mountain like that. Uh. Oh. oh, excuse me. Yawn there. So it is a you know a very big claim that we have. Um, yeah, but I think yeah down here is where logging is going to be very very difficult. Oh, hold on. What is later today? But yesterday in actual role play, uh, he really didn't do all that much honestly. He did the, uh, he did the pallets. That's about it. Um, what I really need is guys up here on the mountain working. Because I can't be on the mountain every single day. I've got a lot of stuff i got to do in the production. And a lot of 
like, I spend a lot of time, spent a lot of time yesterday in RP in the office, um, which I actually really enjoyed, like, getting a good break from this bullshit right here that I'm currently experiencing. What the fuck? I hate it when it does that shit, when it catches on the trailer. There we go. Rock. Operating the loader can be very frustrating, but I'm normally pretty good at it. There we go. Right where I wanted it to. Perfect. So hopefully I'll be able to get a full trailer load and get it down to the mill today. Uh, although I doubt it, because it's already 11.30, and it takes a couple hours to load this trailer. Um, we may not do a full load. The problem is, is just the mill's starting to run low, and recon stresses out when it gets below 30,000. So, you know, we, we've got to make sure we keep that mill stocked. That is really what makes us our money the product that comes off of that mill uh, we're making pretty good progress loading now something I do to prevent tragedy in case the trailer rolls or something bad happens I always keep a strap uh, on the logs now, you also notice these logs have blue X's. So, blue X's means that they've been trimmed. So, blue X's is a trim, and normally a red X is a, uh, a piece that needs to be thrown in the wood chipper. But I already, I already chipped everything. And you also notice that there's logs in this pile, and over here. Uh, I actually had to move... I had to uh, move these logs over here in order to get to these ones. Because I... What I'll do is... Especially if there's no one else online, I'll just yard a shit ton of logs. And then yesterday in roleplay, after I worked in the office a bit, I came up here for a little bit in the evening and uh, trimmed all of the logs that I was going to load today. I was hoping that there would be some other people online by now, but I, you know, they don't normally get on till a lot later in the day. Nope. Reverse. I want reverse. Give me, give me a reverse gear. Right there is fine. Oh, it's crooked. Don't worry, I can fix that. Just a little nudge. Pull her back. Come on. There it goes. Come on. A little more. Perfect. this thing around. Now these are pretty good sized logs too. Most of them are these silver lodge poles. These lodge poles are big. Those brown ones, uh, they, these brown ones are ponderosas and then these fucked up ones are pines. Pines make, standard pines make about the least amount of money. Spruce too are, spruce are big, but they're not as easy to work with as the ponderosa and lodgepole pines which are what the majority of this is uh, we also have things called deadwood um, which is exactly what it sounds like it, it is deadwood hold on not all these logs have been trimmed all the way there we go a little bit backwards a little bit more backwards drop it it's not all the way at the front like I'd like it to be, but that'll work. Because it's such a small log, it's just the other logs are going to stack on top of it. Or on top of the ones next to it, not on top of that one, so. Boom. Got it 
it all loaded up. Pull it in. Come on, swing it up. There we go. I'm in the forks. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go a little more. There we go. And drop that one right there. Perfect. This is already looking like a pretty good trailer, though. How many, how many do we have on here so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like we have nine on the trailer now. Possibly. Does that one go all the way to the end? Yeah, it does. So, we have a pretty good amount of logs loaded up. I think I might be able to do... Recon's mind thinks that I can put 30, load, or 30 logs on this trailer. You cannot put 30 logs on this trailer. It will not work. Unless they're all end pieces. But I do a lot of... I normally just cut the end pieces off when I get logs up. Let's try to pull some of these ones up. Like, this is the only end piece, I think, really, that we're going to... The thinnest end piece, at least, that we're going to load today is right here, this Ponderosa. Missed it just a little bit. There we go. Got it. Yeah, this will probably be one of the thinnest pieces we load today. There might be a couple more, but I don't even think... That wasn't even trimmed at all on the end. So, this... How big is this? I bet it's a 14.7. Which means it was a... Uh, I'm on swing up. Which means I actually cut it. A couple of the... The Ponderosas... If they get to the right age, they're the perfect length to just be cut and thrown on the trailer. So I bet you that's a 14.7 if I got up there and checked. Let's find out. Uh, it's actually at 13.2, so it's close. Let me... Oh, I may have just strapped the loader. Sometimes I'll do that. Nope, we're good. All right, let's get this lodge pole up the hill. It is kind of dangerous to drive the uh, loader down here like this. I try not to because it is it's not super super steep right here, but it drops off very quickly and the brakes on the loader are not the best. Yeah, see how it's tipping and rocking like that? You don't want that. That's very dangerous. This loader goes down the mountain. It's not coming back up the mountain. And I can't afford to replace a $300,000 log loader. Come on. It's stuck. There we go. We're going to go for this lodge pole next, and then we're going to get that big old Ponderosa right there. Look at the size of that one. I don't have it exactly in the center of uh, balance, which is why the uh, one side is super far down, so we can try to shift it. Maybe we'll get it in the right spot. Doesn't look like it. That's a lot better, though. But sometimes that'll help you, because you can kind of throw the log a little bit. Make sure we're all the way at the front of the trailer. Drop it. That's fine. I'm fine with that. It's kind of crooked, but it's okay. Alright, now I want that big Ponderosa. I want to make sure that one gets on this trailer. Might want to grab that one at the center. Oh, oh. 
Oh, there we are. Oh. A little bit more forward. Okay, well, let's close the claw. Bring it back. Kind of push it down in there. There we go. Now I gotta open the claw. There we go. Perfect. It wasn't a very long pine, but it's very thick. Like, look at that. This one weighs 1.4, and this, and it's 9 meters. This one's 14.4 meters and only weighs 1.2. So, not a very long log, but a very valuable one. That is going to be good for milling. Has this even been cut, this tree right here? No, this is a 21 meter. This hasn't been trimmed yet. Okay, well, let's trim this one. Chainsaw, we'll cut it right about here, see if we can cut, like, 10 meters off. Okay, we got seven meters. We'll uh, we'll paint this one for chipping. And we'll just kind of set it right there for right now. Um, this is a 14.2 now, so we'll go ahead and spray paint the blue X. So that way when I get to it, I know it's already been trimmed. We're going to get this big old lodgepole right here. I think this is like a 16 meter lodgepole. Let's see if we can get this one. Uh, I'll lift it up over that log. There we go. We're making pretty good time. I've, I've, in an hour, I've loaded quite a bit of logs. There we go, in the forks. I need to drop one right here. Right on the end. Am I good on that side? It's gonna land on top of the truck. Yep, that's perfectly fine though, because I can just give it a little nudge. Twist it, close the claws, slide it just a little bit, and then I want to twist. Nope, that's too much twist. Pull it back. We're over the forks. There we go. That's fine. Um, that's actually not very fine. Kind of would like to get a log, like, right in there. So let's unstrap and see if this one will fall in. Nope, okay. Because you see there's a big gap right there. Might be able to squeeze a log in there. Get this bigger ponderosa right here. Now, we're almost loaded. So we're going to get ready to head out to the mill here in a second. There's a couple things I'm going to do before we head out to the mill. I think we'll be able to get maybe three or four more logs on this. Focus, hold on. I'm lifting up the log beneath it too. There we go. Nope, I'm still lifting the log. Oh shit! Uh oh. There we go. Alright, let me get this one. We may run out of logs to load. I may have pulled up the perfect amount for a truckload, actually. Because I got two right here. And then I've got two right here. 
So I've got four more logs to load. Can I fit four more on that trailer? Well, I can fit four more on that trailer easily, I think. And how many do I have right now? So I've got... I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 on there. So I can fit... I'm going to fit about 19 on here. That's not bad. That's not bad at all for a truckload. 19 really good size logs. These ones are... This one's barely in the forks. I need to be very careful with it. Or barely in the claw. a good one let's get this one I'm gonna grab it pretty much right just right to the uh, to the right of the X so I'm gonna see if I can grab it maybe I should have grabbed it on the X uh oh let's see if I can get it on there but when it does that, normally it's, I have to adjust the uh, for gravity. Oh, no, nope, nope. Got it to bounce out for just a second. Bring it back. Come on. Oh, nope. There it goes. Yep, fell over. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to repick this one up at its balance point, hopefully. And the deer over there. It is actually terrifying to be up on the mountain and hear the deer run around because you don't know what the hell's around you. It also looks very bright for December. But I'm assuming that's because there's a lot of evergreen trees. Alright, just two more logs to go and then we can roll out. So one of the things with driving the log truck is you have to be very careful because the log truck is a very heavy and very high balance uh, center of gravity. So it rolls all the time. So you have to be very careful with the log truck. We've already had two rollovers or one or two rollovers with the log truck. I think it was two. Um already right, I gotta put this one pretty much right in the middle other way other way other way god oh, damn it I just picked up the log I just dropped that's fine and then I'm gonna strap these ones down for a minute Always, I give them like a second to settle before I restrap them. All right, last log of the day. So this is my main job uh, when I'm actually working: is uh, yarding logs. I do really love that. Is that is my favorite job to do? Is yarding logs. Uh, and then I also load, because I'm the only, me and Recon are really the only ones that know how to operate the loader well. Uh, I want to, I'm trying to teach one of our other kind of just workers how to operate the uh, yarder. So that way I can, if I need to load logs, I can't yard. And normally I'm not loading and yarding anyways at the same time. Normally we'll spend the morning... Uh, yard and logs up the mountain and then the uh, afternoon loading. Alright, so we're all loaded up. Let's throw straps on these. It's very important that they're all strapped down. Got quite the overhang on the trailer there. That's a little bit too much uh, like hanging off the end that I'd like. But they're pretty good sized logs, so. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna actually not really put the loader up, but we are gonna go put gas in it, because it needs it, it desperately needs gas. It's getting down there. 
So that's, I mean, that's operating the loader. It is quite a headache sometimes to operate it, but it can be fun. And it is by far one of the coolest jobs on the, uh, on the job site out here. You know, picking up the big logs, moving them, operating heavy machinery. We're going to just kind of leave this thing here for a while. All right, shut her down. Let's refuel her. Alright, all refueled. Time for the fun part. Alright, check this thing out. Fully loaded up. So, the route we gotta take is down the dirt road, down the mountain, down the main stretch of road, all the way down, left there, and all the way up to the sawmill, where we drop off right in this pond, or inlet. Um, you used to be able to go out, down, up, and then that way, so you'd cut across this dirt road here, uh, and this dirt road here, but this dirt road is shut down here, and this bridge is shut down because we have logs down there, so all up in this area. So, gotta go the long way, but that's better because it's all, uh, we're not off-roading the log truck, potentially getting it stuck, or rolling it, just taking her on the main street. Seeing if I can get some of those logs. I, mean, I, I, I pushed a lot of logs backwards. when I uh, did those last couple, which is also probably why I have such a large hanging off uh, mount hanging off the end of the trailer. Listen to the Jake break go. I always keep it very slow through here. I normally keep the log truck very slow regardless. Because it is very... I don't... You know, this is literally the money trailer. We have to bring... In order to turn a profit, we have to bring one of these off the mountain every single day. In the summertime, it should be two of them because our work hours are longer. So we should be getting two truckloads off the mountain. Yep. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Oh. There we go. See, that's why I keep the truck going low. Going real slow. Because that little turn... Almost just rolled the trailer. It likes to roll. It's very annoying. Like, don't get me wrong. It's very obnoxious that it rolls all the fucking time. Because it shouldn't. But, I mean... It's what it does. I like driving the dump truck. I love driving my dump truck. That dump truck's fucking cool. That's big... Uh, that's a... Uh, big Mac. Dump truck. This is Big Bad Red and then Big Mac because it's a Mac dump truck. And then there's I don't know what uh, I don't know what Recon Semi. Re Recon Semi does have a name. And then my pickup, I'm thinking of naming a Green Machine, but that's kind of basic. Anyways, I think I'm feeling like I'm in a final destination somewhere. Let me just unstrap. Yeah, take out that car and that van. Like bowling. See, it starts doing that when it gets up to speed. That normally means the trailer's overloaded. If it's doing that. Wiggling. There's too much weight on the trailer. 
just have to be very careful. I'm barely touching my controller, making adjustments in the lane. I'm gonna turn the Jake brick off for now. Just because it's kind of annoying and I'm feathering the throttle every time I release the throttle. The yeah, definitely taking it slow in here because it'll roll, it'll even roll on this wide of a turn. It's a very. There's our head office right there. I haven't actually been to, uh, I don't think Echo's built a house yet, but I would like to see what he's going to do. I like Hick's house. I like Recon's house. Though I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Recon's house. I just, I don't like the fact that it's right on a main road. I wouldn't want that. Like, I was like, dude, you're on a, you're, we're on a logging map with thousands of acres of forest, and you choose to be on a main street? Alright, so click the Jake back on so it'll come to a stop. Very careful on this turn too. Taking it very wide. Yeah, we're about halfway there now. driving this thing. Just, just, you know, they're moving a lot. You don't want like that. I don't, you, you don't want that. <laughs> you also, you should really take into consideration, or I should at least, uh, how I load them. If you notice, I have a lot of small logs that kind of in the center. You don't want that. You want the bigger logs on the bottom. And I do have quite a bit of bigger logs, but I've also got like one, two, three, four, four, five big logs up on the top, and that's also what's causing that. Here comes the train. There it goes. Last Silver Run map we did, we used that train to transport all of our logs. Why? What? What, what is happening? What the fuck is happening? What is... What? 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 Oh, uh, 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 huh? 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 Okay, I think it fixed itself. I was like, what the fuck? No, uh, wait, did it? Okay, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, I think the trailer almost just slipped on the straightaway. Here we are. This is our sawmill. Give you guys a tour of this mill in just one moment. Once I'm done unloading. Alright. Throw in reverse. Alright, it should start. Yep, there it goes. Started taking the loads. Or the logs. I'm losing my ability to speak English. Okay, so this is the sawmill. So, in here we've got planks, planks along, wood beams, and prefabs need just wood to produce. So, the wood will come out here, as well as any excess wood that can't fit there if they're not moved will come over here. So we got some prefabs here. Uh, these are wall prefabs. Uh, these are long planks, I believe. Oh, no, these are beams. These are long planks. 
Uh, and then these are standard planks over here. So these are all picked up by Recon the Foreman over here. He runs operations here. The only thing that he needs from us is the logs coming off the trucks. So we're up to 21,000. So yeah, we got a pretty good amount of logs in there. Forklift here. There's normally a telehandler here, but it's not. It's right there. It's over there. Because we have to, uh, we do, we do wood chips, but I, he needs to, he needs to let those wood chips grow up more. Like, there's, that, that's not enough wood chips to send the fucking, he wants the, like, I, that thing should be damn near full before we come out here and unload. Over here where the smoke is, is an addition we made to the mill. This is a iron furnace. So iron ore is dropped off here, and iron spawns right here. So that's something we're getting ready to do. Uh, we're going to actually run up the mountain and do a load of iron ore. Just a little dump truck load. I'm not going to do the full... Uh, I'm not going to do the dump trailer. I'm not going to bring 20,000 up. Um, but that's the last thing we'll do for the day. Is uh, get us a load. So, workday ends at 1600 in the winter, so 4 o'clock, we're off. Um, we do run a lot later in the summer months. Alright, it's going to start taking these. Right, we can drop the spikes down. Yeah, yeah look at that. And then the last tree brings us up to 61,000. Sweet. Alright, we're all offloaded. It's a successful day. You get a load off the mountain, it's a good day. Because it hasn't happened every single day. You've had a few days where you haven't been able to get a load off. Um, and that, it's really a big problem if you can't. Because it starts running the production up. We get super close to running out. I think the mill did run out of lumber back in November right after we started production because we had a day where we couldn't get any timber off the mountain. So, it just didn't happen. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swing by the uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just swing by the headquarters with this. And uh, now I'm now I'm gonna take this up to the mountain and I'm gonna drop it off there, and then I'm gonna come back down in the pickup, drop the pickup off at the headquarters, take the semi or uh, dump truck, dump truck up on the up to the mine. It is quite a drive up to the mine, so we'll just fill the dump truck. I'm not gonna do the trailer. And then we'll uh, load that up and bring it back down to the mill, and then uh, finish up. Pretty much after that, it'll probably be close to clocking out, so we'll uh, see if we can get back to the house by like 5 or 6. Because I have a feeling it's going to take a bit to load the dump truck. There is equipment up there to load it with, that is uh, the mine's equipment. But I definitely need to get a... Uh, Definitely need to get, like, a telehandler or something that's a little better for loading. I like the ones up there because it doesn't tip because it's a steel, it's a steel frame, steel body, so it's built for mining. But it only carries about a thousand liters a bucket, which means it takes a minute to, minute to load up the dump truck. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw the dump or the uh, not dump truck, the log truck in our trailer storage up here to the left. We have to just kind of use this empty lot to store the semis sometimes. All right, all good. Across the street. Yep, got all the warning signs. Log trucks entering highway. Got another one up there. 
uh, you know, contact operator before or proceeding with our lot number, or whatever the hell that number is. And yeah, old firewatch tower probably won't be needed anymore. I mean, this whole area right here was, I mean, full of trees. This whole section, it's all gone. Yep, well, another thing we're going to have to do is, uh, before we, or after we switch lo uh, lanes with the yarder, I have to get that JCB in action, our little tractor we got. Got to get that thing down to the, uh, down the mountain to uh, grind up all of our stumps. Why is this lifted? What the hell? There we go. I don't like the truck super lifted. I think on the middle ground, like right there, is good. Um, got to grind up all those stumps, and then we got to get that uh, tree planter going. We got to replant the trees that we cut down. Don't want to, you know... We don't want to destroy the entire environment, so we're going to definitely plant new trees. Alright, get on the road. So that is all coming actually very soon. Um, like I said, I've only got maybe 10, 15 more trees to yard on the current road, and then all the runaway trees, which are like 30, <laughs> there's a good amount of them. Um, those will probably take the longest because of where they're at. I don't know if they're even going to be able to, or be yardable. I might have to use the JCB to pull them up the mountain. It's also the other purpose. It has a crane on it. That crane is very useful for pulling uh, pulling trees up the mountain. It's, it's kind of like a skitter. I, I, we operate it as a skitter. We use it to pull up stuff. Um, but it, it's great because it has three points, so I can hook up different uh, different attachments and stuff to it. Oh, shit. I'm not used to the handling line on this F-150, or F-350. Alright, let's run in here and go get the semi. Dump truck, fuck. I keep on calling it a semi. I mean, it is a semi truck, but it's just a dump truck. Yeah, there's a dump trailer right there that goes to it, but we're not going to pull it up there today. Alright. Up, up towards the mountain we go. Heading pretty much back the way we came, but we're going a little bit further, and then we're going to take a different way out. We got to take. We're going to go up the mountain, or uh, up our mountain, down it, cross a little river, and then climb up another mountain, and then go back down that mountain, or load up, go back down that mountain very slowly. Um, actually, probably not that slow because I'm not going to be as heavy as I was earlier. Brakes. And then I'm going to climb back up another mountain, and then drive across a few mountains, and then drive down a mountain, and then into our mill. It's a lot of mountains. I love it. It's great. It's cool. All the changes and elevations. I hate flat farm sim maps, because they're so basic. You can look on forever. I like this. You almost, it's like, there's areas of this map I've never been or explored. Like, there's so many areas that just haven't gone. God, I'm tired. Train coming up on us. There it goes. Off to, uh, what is that, Elm Creek? 
I think it's off to Elm Creek. Alright, let's see if we can maintain speed coming up the mountain. So this dump truck's not only used for moving rock and ore and other stuff, it's used for uh, moving wood chips a lot too. We move a lot of wood chips uh, out of our chipper, but they don't they don't normally go very far. They go from right down that road, which is where our long thing is, right to where we're going to turn. Right to this building up here on the left. Right there. Alright, so now we're gonna go down this mountain. turn around and go back up this thing does look really good I gotta get it cleaned I don't have a pressure washer at her uh, headquarters or the mill I need to get one I don't even think there's one up at the log site I gotta get that little one that's on the trailer so I can tow it everywhere. Alright, here we are. It's already dark here in the shade of the mountain. Yeah, I don't have any working lights. Alright, let's hop in this little Volvo. Engine's coming on, and... Let's get at it. It's a very... The ore falling is just very annoying. And it can be very loud. It's going to take us about 11 scoops, I think. Because I think the truck carries 11,000. That's... That was one there. And this is two right now. There's two. There's four. Six. I'm trying to get ones off, get it up off the ground. There we go. Nope, backed up way too much. Seven. Scoop from the top this time. Boom. Eight. go off. Boom. Mm. 
So I try to get a load of this stuff a day, too. Just once a day, come up here. Normally I'll have the dump trailer with me, because it can hold up to 20,000 with the dump trailer attached, so... You know, it's a really good way. But, I mean, just coming up here with the dump truck once a day is enough to maintain our supply. That should be full. I might need just one more to top it off. I'm not just come up here and dig up all this ore. There's a lot of it. I would like to come up here with, like, an excavator and, like, pull the whole lot one day. There we go. Yep, that's full. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, shut that down. Alright, yep, fully loaded 12,000. What's that? I've never seen this before. Is this like... Oh. There's so many little waterfalls. That's not the first one I've ever, ever noticed on this map. There's a couple of them. down this fountain. So now we gotta head out towards the mill. Oh Jesus Christ, caught air. Good lord. Definitely should have been on the brakes there a little more. Um yeah, it is quite heavy, and you will see that coming up on this, uh, these switchbacks here. I am full on the throttle right now. This is, this is max throttle. Now, it's not as slow. I was going, like, eight miles an hour up this with the dump trailer yesterday, so... It's not as slow as with the dump trailer, but, I mean, it's still pretty slow. Another thing with this video is it'll be very interesting to see how long it is because it'll be pretty much a recording of a full day of work to see how long, because I'm interested to see how long in real life a full day of work on this server is. And we're getting close to clocking out now. Obviously I can work however late I want. I own the company. But, you know, if I had anyone else online, they'd be getting ready to clock out now. Now we're out of the shadow of that mountain right there. We have some light. The thing I've noticed is I have very pixelated trees. I've been having a lot of uh, a lot of texture issue on this map. Like I had a lot of rock textures that were like glitching out. So I got those to fix, but now those trees are kind of being glitchy. These are giant sequoias. Recon wants us to come up here and get these things, but. I don't think that the uh, any of our equipment that we currently own will be able to handle that. I, I want to get a wheel loader so that I can lift them with the wheel loader instead of the uh, loader that we have now, the grapple loader. The yarder won't even move one of those. Let's just I want to pull over and see how heavy one of them is. Hard on the brakes. How heavy is this tree? I can't see the weight until I cut it down. Okay. Well, I have a feeling that's about four or five tons. Which means it's way heavier than the yarder. The yarder can barely handle 2.9. So... The loader lifts in fine, but the ones we haul up, but you have to remember that the ones it's lifting are, they've been cut in half, so they're losing half of their weight. Right, let's start hitting the brakes, start hitting the brakes, start hitting the brakes. And we're in. Home sweet mill. Got a 
come over here, unload. Alright, so we're up to 39,000. That's, that's not bad. That's about where we were yesterday. It's actually a little more than we were yesterday, so... As long as we're... maintaining... we're good. Alright, now we gotta head back to the headquarters. We made it just in time for the end of the workday. I don't think we're going to make it all the way back to the uh, to the HQ or the head office before 4, but, I mean, we're done working, so just driving now. Well, I mean, that that's the day. I mean, that's a day in the, uh, on the job in farm sim logging. Um, now, definitely going to do a episode of this when I'm just running the yarder so that way you guys can see how the yarder actually works uh, in a large scale. It is, I do enjoy yarding large amounts of trees up to the top of the mountain and then I get to the top of the mountain and I look at my huge mess that I've made. All of those trees and it's like, oh, fuck. And then you gotta clean them up, you gotta trim them all, then you gotta cut them, and then you gotta stack them ready to be loaded. So, it is, it is quite a lot of work. But it is very fun. If that's what you're into, I guess. I don't know. I, am, I guess I am. Well, just a little bit more of a drive home. Just making it into town. Stump truck looks so good. Stop sign. There's recons. Normally he's got a semi truck parked out front, but he, he doesn't normally daily the semi. He dailies his pickup, and he got off the server and left his pickup truck at his uh at the up on the mountain, so. Get the blinker on. I love how the blinker works. Like, oh shit, what the hell? I like how it's down there too. We are going to get some reserved parking in here. So this will be, this is Recon's reserve spot, and this is my reserve spot. And then the dump truck sits here, and whatever else goes over there. Alright, let's shut that gate. Oh yeah, there's hella warehouse lights in here too, so... We can't even work in here at night. Yeah, so right here we got some prefabs, beams, more beams, long planks and planks. And then our little bit of iron. So I said that earlier, but it is very—it's very barren here because we shipped a lot out the other day. Um, normally, there's a lot more in here, but I have—we're gonna build a new office building very soon. I'm really looking forward to having that because I'm not a very big fan of the one we have now of this. I like this, but I don't like the fact that we don't actually own the land. We're just renting the building. So, we're going to build a new building, um, like, right outside of it. We're going to build it, like, right in the field next to it. All right, well, now we just got to drive back to the house, and uh, we can call it. It has, been, it has been a very fun day working out here with you guys. Can't wait to get some more people on the server and uh, actually get a good crew running. We've only had like 
one day with everyone online and then someone always lags out or their power goes out like every single day or something happens and we just can never have the crew on for very long. So I think we've only had one full work day with the crew actually online. Which I mean, I guess that's good for me because I mean, we're still producing at a pretty good rate and I don't have to pay as much. So. Yep, we're, um, house is way the hell out here in the woods. It's not too, too far out, but I mean, it's, I think it's the furthest one out so far. Here we are, home sweet home. Gotta back my little trailer in. See if I can just park it right there for right now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to detach. There we go. And then put the truck in the driveway. It was a very steep driveway. Especially right here. Just because of how the landscaping turned out. I didn't realize when I was building on here how steep it actually was. Alright, well, um, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And, you know, like I said, if any of you guys, you know, playing on, uh, farm sim 22 and want to join i mean the uh the server is open um we'll pin the discord and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one